All right, so let's go ahead and actually start updating the prefix on the front end. So this is going to be uh, pretty straightforward. So inside the hook, I'm going to do uh, this real quick. Instead of calling use fetch guild config, I'm just going to call this use guild, use guild config because I didn't really expect to actually use this to keep track of or to really update the state, honestly. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and do const update prefix. So this is just literally going to take in a string. And this will literally just, uh, let's see, we need to update config. So this is actually, okay, this is actually a little bit tricky. Here's what I'm going to do. Actually, I have a better idea. Uh, prefix, set prefix. Okay, we'll do this. Um, I know this kind of seems a little, because I, I, I don't really want to modify the config object. Because I really only want to just modify one thing. So I'm going to just do this. You could modify config and then just send that whole thing to the back end. But I don't think, I don't really want to do that because we're only going to create one route uh, at the at the back end endpoint that's going to expect to update the prefix. And it's going to take in one parameter, which is the prefix. So I don't want to send the whole entire, like I don't want to send data that we should not send to the back end. Like, I don't want to send, like, you know, the welcome channel ID or the whole config object when we don't need to do that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and use this prefix. Uh, and I'll actually return that. Okay. Uh, and actually, I don't even think, actually, I think this is good. So we'll return prefix. Okay. And because prefix is, is actually going to have an empty string, so we don't have to actually worry about type, uh, we don't have to worry about null checking it. So we can actually, instead of doing config.prefix, we can do prefix instead. I should have thought of the, thought, thought about this in the last episode. Whoops, this is the API. I should have thought about this in the last episode, but it's okay. So you can see it still shows the correct prefix, even though we're using uh, prefix. And now I can go ahead and do on change. I can simply just update the prefix. So what I can do is I can just pass in or not. Let me do this. So we need to go ahead and pass in the set prefix setter function. Uh, well, we need to return it from use guild config and we can just bring that out over here. Okay, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and for the on change method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna handle this by calling set prefix and passing an e.target.value. So whatever we type in, this text field is going to be the new value of the prefix. So if you want to type in this, if you want to type in that, do whatever you want. If you want to type in dollar sign, you can. Now, if you want to add some validation for this, we could do that. Like, for example, we could uh, install React Hook Form and make it so that it can only take in like one or two characters at most. Because um, obviously right now the user can just literally type in anything they want and that's not good. Um, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. I just want to show you how we can actually update the prefix here. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to need to actually implement the endpoint so that way we can actually uh, save the actual prefix in the database. Okay, but before we end this video, let me go ahead and set it up so that way when we click on the save button, it'll actually make an API call with the updated value. So uh, inside this use guild config hook, uh, actually, I'm not going to do this inside the hook. Um, I'm going to actually do this. Uh, update save prefix. We'll create a function inside guild prefix page. So this function is going to be called whenever the save button is clicked on. Okay. Um, so right now, obviously it's not going to refresh the page. What we're going to do is we're going to actually prevent the default behavior, um, which is what it was doing. And we're going to actually just show like a notification once it's done saving. So um, let me do this. Uh, uh, save prefix. Actually, wait, I need to get the type since we're using TypeScript. Uh, so this is a React mouse event. This is what I like to do when I'm using TypeScript, if I don't know what the type is, it helps me get the actual type very easily. Save prefix. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're first going to call prevent default. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and console log the prefix, the updated prefix, just to show you the updated value. So let's go ahead and select the guild. And you can see that the actual prefix is there. If I change this to ampersand sign, if I click save, you can see that the ampersand sign is inside the log right now. Okay, and all we got to do is just call the API to actually save the uh, the prefix. Okay, so I'm going to set this up in this video. So that way in the next video will pretty much uh, be ready. So inside the API.ts file, we'll create a function called update guild prefix. So this is going to require two parameters. Um, it's going to require actually it's going to require one parameter uh, that has two properties. Okay, so and it's going to be a post request. Okay. Well, actually, um, yeah, yeah, it, it will be a post request. Well, it will be a post request, and it will have two properties. I was thinking that maybe we should have a um, a post request. The URL should just be the route parameter, and then it should just have one a property in the object. I think that would be a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah, let's do that instead. L let's actually do this. Let's do guild ID and the prefix. So instead of an object, we'll just have two parameters. I think it'll be a lot better if we have the guild ID as a route parameter. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is because Discord's API also follows that convention. So I think I think it's uh, I think it's not a bad idea. So it's going to be slash guild. So so we haven't implemented this endpoint on the back end yet. So it's going to give us a four four not found if we try to call it. Uh, but it's going to be slash guilds slash a uh, config. Um, wait, whoops. Uh, so I think I think what we should do. I'm actually going to modify. I'm actually going to change something later. I'm, I'm going to do this. Uh, slash guilds. It's going to be slash guild ID. So this is what Discord does. It has the resource name in, in the route. And then after resource, you specify the ID. So if you actually look at the Discord documentation, it'll literally show, it'll, it'll literally tell you this. So if you look at the Discord docs over here, you can see it does the same thing here, slash guilds, slash guild dot ID. And if you want to do anything else with the guild, let's say if you want to create a guild channel, you, the uh, the route the route pattern would be slash guilds uh, slash guild ID, and then the channel. So I think it's better if we follow it like that. And so you can see that right now we aren't doing that because we're doing uh, slash guild slash config and then the guild ID. We're gonna fix that in the next episode. Um, so don't worry. But for this prefix, we'll do slash guilds for this function that calls the this endpoint. The route will be slash guilds, slash guild ID, uh, slash config, slash prefix. Uh, well, actually, yeah, slash, yeah, slash prefix. Um, so this will tell the endpoint that we're updating a prefix, okay? So we're going to create individual endpoints for each, uh, to, to update each specific thing. I know it might be a little bit tedious, but we'll just, we'll just do that for now, okay? And I almost forgot one more thing. Uh, well, not not yet though. Uh, first, for the post request, we're gonna have to pass in a request body, and which is just going to be uh, the prefix. So we'll pass in prefix like that. And last but not least, we will, we will have to pass in the Axios configuration, which I forgot to do for get guild config. But luckily, that endpoint still worked because we didn't actually protect that route. So if if we it, it wouldn't have worked if we didn't pass in the cookies. It it, it wouldn't have worked if we actually protect the route. Okay. Uh, so this should be fine. So we have the endpoint, and then we have this. So right now, all we're going to do is when we click on save prefix, all we're going to do is we're going to call update guild prefix. So this is going to, I'm going to make save, pre save prefix in a sync function. Whoops. Mistake right over there. Okay. Wrap this in a try catch in case of an error happens. Okay. We're going to go ahead and call. Actually, we don't even need to save the value. We'll, uh, actually, no, I, I will save, I will save it. Update guild prefix, pass in the guild ID, and prefix that. Okay, and again, this is really, this is really annoying. I don't know why, I really wish there was a better way to, to solve this, honestly. I mean, I don't even think I, I don't even, yeah, because this is kind of ridiculous, but I'm just going to do this. I mean the only other uh the only other alternative that I think we could do is on skilled ID is equal to it's 
It's a little bit annoying, but, you know, it'll get the job done. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's it's whatever. Uh, I don't really like... I'm not really much of a fan of this, to be honest, but it's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and go inside the React app. You can see if I click Save, it's giving us a 4 4 not found. You can see the route is, is obviously being called. Uh, slash guilds, the guild ID, config prefix, okay? So literally all we got to do on the back end is literally just create a route to uh to take in the uh to take in the to to handle this request uh up update the value in the database and then that's it and that's literally the same thing that we would do with uh welcome message as well okay um and yeah so we're pretty much almost done really with the dashboard so once we actually update the prefix and we do the same thing with welcome message we're pretty much done so i will see you all in the next episode peace out